Welcome to the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Leanne McAdoo. It is July 24th, 2013. Take a look at what's coming up on the show tonight. Tonight, on the InfoWars Nightly News, Monsanto wins again. Allowable levels of cancer-causing glyphosate increase. We'll introduce you to the black George Zimmerman the media doesn't want you to know about. Plus, the Obama administration spends your tax dollars to demand a 32-page disaster plan for a magician's rabbit. All that and more on the InfoWars Nightly News. Tonight's top story. The elite corporate clique is protected over and over again in Washington, and this time it's another win for Monsanto. The U.S. has raised the allowable levels of companies' pesticide in crops. Despite a number of studies linking exposure to the chemical glyphosate with diseases including types of cancer, the EPA is increasing the amount of glyphosate allowed in oil, seed, and food crops. Through the EPA's new standards, the amount of allowable glyphosate in oilseed crops such as flax, soybeans, and canola will be increased from 20 parts per million to 40 parts per million, which GM Watch acknowledged is over 100,000 times the amount needed to induce breast cancer cells. Additionally, the EPA is increasing limits on allowable glyphosate in food crops from 200 parts per million to 6,000 parts per million. Now, in the past, Monsanto has long defended their use of the chemical, saying, we are very confident in the long track record that glyphosate has. It has been very, very extensively studied. Well, indeed, Monsanto, in, according to an independent study concluded in April, the negative impact on the body is insidious and manifests slowly over time as inflammation damages cellular systems throughout the body. Consequences are most of the diseases and conditions associated with a Western diet, which include gastrointestinal disorders, obesity, diabetes, heart disease, depression, autism, infertility, cancer, and Alzheimer's disease. 